Hello everyone, I'm Laurel and welcome to my channel. I thought I would do some resin cacti. Um, they're different ones. I have not tried these molds yet, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do that. I've got four different colored greens for mixing bowls and my mixing utensil. So, let's get started. I'm going to pour in a lot of resin. I think I want to use this fluorite color. That looks really pretty. And then mix it up. And then make sure you mix it thoroughly. I may need a little bit more just to darken it up a bit. Now because these are larger pieces, they will be a little bit translucent because, you know, because of the resin and the dye. But they are going to be very pretty colors. Okay, and just clean that off. And we're going to use the hot air gun. So if you don't want to hear it, close your ears. Okay, and that got out all the bubbles that I could see. Hopefully there's no more. And I'm going to do this mold first. And I do see bubbles still, so... I don't know. What are you going to do? All right. Now, I'm not going to be putting these under the light yet, so if the bubbles still come up, that would be great. Just put a little heat on it. And here come the bubbles. Now what's happening is the bubbles, oops, I shouldn't have done that. What's happening is the bubbles are getting trapped in each of the chambers of the mold. So when it does that, it creates a bubble. And I believe these are handmade molds. I got them from Timu. So... I'm just going to keep heating it until all the bubbles come out. Oops. Keep your hot air gun kind of high. It'll still heat it up. And we'll get those bubbles out. Now, another way you can heat it up was I've heard you can use one of those coffee warmers and then you just place your mold on that and basically it warms it up and it gets rid of any bubbles. So we'll just move this one carefully over here. I'm going to do a smaller one. Um, I'm not going to use the same color. I'm going to try a different color this time. I might do these two smaller ones. So I'm just going to make sure I've got enough resin for both. And I'm going to do uh, Peridot. It's just a light, lighter green. And I probably put 
oh, I'd say about like maybe eight drops in there. And I'm just gonna clean this off from the other color. And then mix it up. That's really a pretty color. It's gonna take some time to get it mixed thoroughly. We're going to use the hot air gun again. And then I'm just going to pour it into these two. Oops. I spilled some. Okay. Let me just get. Now, if you have a little accident with your resin, um, just get yourself um, a baby wipe and use it to do your cleanup. You can clean your tools. You can clean some of your molds with it. You can clean, um, you know, your mixing bowls. It works rather well. Okay, let's choose another color. Mm, we'll do another big one. I think I put a little too much in there. All right, so we have malachite, and this is color. We did that one. Whoops. Uh, we did fluorite. Okay, this is jadeite, so we're going to use that one. I didn't count how many. I think maybe six. Six to eight drops. Ooh, that's a pretty one. Okay, so I wanted a darker one. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to do this one right here. And I wanted a little bit darker one, so I wanted a variety of greens. Now I'm making a little mess, but i just try to keep it as tidy as possible. All right, so, oh, I don't want to forget the heat. Get some of those bubbles out. And I have a little bit left over. I think I could do this one. I'm hoping. Oh, yep, there's just enough. All right. Because you know how I don't like wasting. <laughs> so, uh, I'm trying to mix up, you know, just enough for these. Now, this one, I believe I'm going to have to do two batches because it's so large. I don't know if you can see how big it is. It's pretty, pretty big. So we're going to probably have to mix up two batches for this. Uh, 
it's a very warm day today. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without the air conditioning on. I do have a fan on, but I have my window open, you know, so I have um, some fresh air coming in here. Because we all know how lovely resin smells. <laughs> Oh, so now this is a really pretty color. I really wanted something that was dark, and I think with the larger piece, it'll be really pretty. Okay. And I'll pour that in. I probably need to yeah, I didn't I didn't do the heat gun. Okay. Now before I cure these, I will put the heat gun on these again just to make sure there's no bubbles. I see some popping up here and some here because they're coming out of that. Remember I said they come out of the, the different chambers of the cacti mold. This looks like it may take three. This is crazy. That's a pretty big mold. Probably be better if you have the two-part epoxy Because then you can mix up bigger batches, or if you have, you know, a bigger mixing bowl, which I do not. I wish I did. Because once in a while I do, you know, a larger mold. I did get some of those bubbles. I still see a few, but uh oh. I've got a feeling that's going to take like four of these mixing bowls. Like, seriously. This is crazy. I didn't realize that thing was so big. Definitely another one. So this mold here, which is the largest cacti, that one's going to take quite a bit. I did not realize that was so large. So do the best we can here. So, so far this is going to be number four that we're going to be pouring into there. See how this works out. Okay, this is number four. Ah, oh, we're gonna need a number five. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. 
was not expecting that, but. And then I did notice I did not use the heat gun on that. So I see a few bubbles. We'll get those out. Now you can do these like in stages. You can do like a little bit and then cure it and then a little bit and cure it. I'm going to cure it and it's a nice sunny day so I'll probably set these outside just to sit for a little bit. to get them all heated up and okay there we go right to the top all right so I am seeing let's see I think this one was the peridot so I'm just gonna top this off a little bit oops a little too much a little bit there hmm. okay this looks Fine, but that could probably use another drop or two. That. And then this one was which one? I think oh. Hmm. I might have messed it up. I don't know. But oops. We'll just put it in there. I'm not gonna harm it if it's just slightly a different color, so I'm just gonna clean this off. this out of my way. Clean this off. And then now I'm just going to heat these for a little bit just to make sure I can get all the, um, get the bubbles out. So I'll be right back. So I have to say <laughs> when you buy molds from Timu, please be careful. These are handmade molds. This is leaking out from underneath. That means there's some kind of hole or something underneath it, and I never noticed it because this is the first time I use it. So, since that's happening, um, I don't think there's really anything I can do about it at this point, but I'm going to try to cure it and see what happens. All right, so now these are cured. I cured them on the top, and I also cured them on the bottom. Now, like I said, this one was leaking. I didn't know that there was holes in there, but we'll unmold this first and see what happens. Oh, turned out nice. Got some little bits here that I can clip off, but for the most part, it turned out nice. So next time I use this, what I'll do is, I'm not sure exactly where that hole is. I think it's right there. Um, I'll just put a piece of tape over it so I still can use it but I wasn't expecting that and I noticed like there's a couple pieces here that did not fully uh, fill in and that's probably because of that leak here's another one let's see how this one turned out this one did not leak oh this is really pretty well, I think I'll make more of these these are really nice try this one kind of curious to see this one because this one's kind of a long one I don't know if I can get it out oh here we go oh that one turned out really nice too these are really pretty cacti and then this one I need to clip that piece off a little bit of overflow which that's okay and it looks like I got pretty much all the bubbles out. Oh, well, that's really cool. Isn't that neat? Oh, I think that might... I, I like the color, too. I think that one might be one of my favorites. At least this color. I think this was the... Was it Malachite or something like that? It was one of the darker greens. Um, okay, let's see this one. 
Oh, this one turned out really nice. Oh, geez. All right, now for the big one. This one I'm really curious about. And, oh, turned out quite nice. Probably wouldn't use this color again. Um, it took a while for this to cure because it was so dark. So if I did this again, I would do it in this color. I think that would be much better. So these are my cactuses and um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to obviously clean them up a little bit, get these little pieces off. And um, if I do make a project with them, I will show you how it turns out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell for notifications of my upcoming videos. Also in the description box below, you will find links to my jewelry, my artwork, and my photography. Thank you again for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.